Hi, my name is Saeed and I have the privilege of showing you Artistry Photo Pro. When we were designing the app, we thought a lot about how fun it is to use Instagram and to go through so many different effects. So we've built in over a hundred effects into Artistry Photo Pro. Now we don't just use Instagram, we love using Photoshop as well. So what's great is that when you click an effect, if you notice on the right side, you can see the adjustments that were done to make that effect possible. Now you can change these adjustments, you can add your own adjustments on top of it, and in the end, you can even add your own effect by clicking the Add button, and you can share those with your friends, family, coworkers, whoever you want. Now one of my favorite effects is you. I love this sunbeam that's coming from the top right. Now if you notice on the right side, there's sunbeam. Maybe I don't want it on the top right, so I can just move it. I can adjust the strength, the rays. In the color controls adjustment, I can make the photo a little bit brighter. If I don't like a particular adjustment I've done, I can double click the slider and it'll go back to where the default is. And just like that, within a few seconds, if I glance at original or hold the option key on my keyboard, you can see how much of a dramatic difference one particular adjustment makes. Here's another photo that when you first look at it, it's not that bad. Now instead of going through the effects, I'm going to start from scratch and show you some pretty cool adjustments. So I'll click Add Adjustments, and this is our Add Adjustments panel. You can scroll through the different color adjustments, blur adjustments, color effects, distortion effects, halftone effects. There are so many things you can do in this app. One of my favorite effects is vibrance. Now, if you want to see what this will do to your photo, you can place your mouse over it and you can see the thumbnail starts to change to show you what vibrance will do to your photo. So, I'll add vibrance. And just like that, with one little slider, this photo is much richer in color. Another really fun adjustment I love using is color manipulation. I'm going to click the eye drop and tell the app that I want to change her eye color. I'll hit the settings and draw the color manipulation in with the drawing brush. So now, whatever adjustments I do to this particular color adjustments layer will only happen to her eyes because that's the only place I drew. So you can see just like that we're adjusting her eye color. It's really easy and beautiful. And the final adjustment I wanted to show you is a really cool depth of field effect. I'll click the settings of the Gaussian Blur, and now I'm going to draw the blur away. Now you saw me using the brush on her eyes because it was a specific location. In this example, I'll use Ring. And now, whatever is in the middle will be in focus. Whatever's in between the inner and outer ring will start to show the Gaussian effect. And whatever's outside will have the full Gaussian blur. And just like that, I have a really cool depth of field photo that's much more vibrant and her eyes are a much richer blue. If I want, I can click the little loop here
and zoom in to whatever I'd like to make sure my drawing and my manipulations are happening exactly the way I want them to. One thing that I'm really proud of is our detect edges algorithm. So here, notice this part of the balloon when I add vibrance. Right now it's near white. But if I add vibrance, while it's nice that the sky is getting more vibrant, you'll notice that the balloon gets this blue in it. So what I'll do is I'll draw in vibrance, and I'll get a bigger brush here. Now here's a problem. Notice this, the brush is hitting the balloon. If I hit this little arrow here and say show mask drawing in red, you can clearly see I'm going into the balloon. Let me turn on edge detection and show you how great it is. So first I'm just going to draw. And now, if I say show mask in red, notice that this was where I started drawing and it was overlapping the balloon. And everywhere else, the edge detection detected that we only wanted to draw the sky and it missed all the balloons. So, really powerful edge detection built right into the app. And if we use the loop, we can see that it truly did miss all the edges and just drew the vibrance exactly where we wanted it. Every adjustment layer has its own blend mode as well. If I come over here into blend mode, you can see it's on normal and I can just go through them with my cursor. And what's great is that they update live in the background to the photo. With Vibrance, the Addition Blend Mode is pretty cool. If I click it, you can see it automatically adds an Opacity slider, so I can adjust the amount. But Normal is fine for this photo. And if you don't want the Opacity slider, you can just click Settings and say Remove Opacity Slider. Now, in these examples, I've been using Vibrance quite a bit. So, what I can do is click Settings, and say add to default set. This means that every single time I add a new photo the vibrance adjustment layer will always be there. If you also noticed you can add a new vibrance adjustment layer or remove this one or reset it from here as well. So for example maybe I wanted to add vibrance to a particular part of the photo but then add less vibrance to another part of the photo. I could add a new vibrance layer. Of course, when you're happy with your photo, you can just click share. You can email it, message it, add it to a note or a reminder, tweet about it, add it on Facebook or LinkedIn. You can save it as an FX document and edit it later. And, of course, you can export the image and do whatever you want with it. When you export the image, you can either use a JPEG or TIFF. So that is Artistry Photo Pro. If you like this video or know anyone that would love this app, please feel free to share it. The app is available on the Mac App Store. And if you'd like more information, visit us at helloiat.com. Thank you so much.